What's up everyone, Dubblade here with a quick information video regarding the Day 17 limited bounties for the Grand Appreciation Fest in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. As always, disclaimers out of the way first, this is for both PC and console versions of Monster Hunter World Iceborne, and depending on where you live in the world, the times that limited bounties reset can differ. Now we have less than a week left of the Grand Appreciation Fest, so if there's anything you miss, you've got till the next reset to get it done. But anyway, let's move on to talk about the limited bounties today. First of all, for console, they have six limited bounties, First is a Phil Research Event Limited Bounty to complete free event quests. They can be at any rank and for doing so you'll get research points, an advanced atmosphere, appreciation ticket and appreciation fireworks. Next is an ecology survey to hunt Brute Wyvern. We have to hunt one Brute Wyvern and once again it can be at any rank and for doing so you'll get research points, a hard atmosphere, appreciation ticket and more appreciation fireworks. Next is a general 8 star rank or higher limited bounty to complete two quests at this specific rank or above. To be honest, just doing master rank quests will easily complete this. But for doing so, you'll get research points, a gold Wyvarian print today that can be used at the Elder Melder in exchange for various monster gems, some more appreciation tickets and appreciation fireworks. This is also the last limited bounty you'll have access to if you haven't upgraded to Iceborne yet. But if you have, you'll also have a general Horfrost Reach limited bounty to clear just one quest in this specific location at master rank. Although it's not like we get the Horfrost Reach at any other rank. But anyway, for completing one quest here, you'll get research points, a heavy atmosphere, gratitude ticket, and some snowmen. Next is an ecology survey to hunt Rajang. We have to hunt one of these beast wyvern, and for doing so, you'll get research points, a king atmosphere, gratitude ticket, and more snowmen. And then finally is the general limited bounty to complete all of today's other limited bounties. And for doing so, you'll get research points, a celestial wyvarian print today that can be used at the Elder Melter in exchange for various monster mantles, some gratitude tickets, and even more snowmen. So those are all the limited bounties we have today. Not too difficult unless you really dislike fighting Rajan. However, because it's a Celestial Wyvarian print day, it's gonna take a minimum of three event quests to get everything done. First of all, I'd recommend taking on the event quest Razzled, Frazzled and Dazzled. This has players taken on a Rajan in the Wildspire Waste. This will complete the Rajang limited bounty and put a dent in the event quest limited bounty as well as general eight star rank limited bounty. Afterwards, I recommend taking on an event quest that involves Brute Wyvern. Probably for me the easiest is a bunch of sticks in the mud. This has players taking on two Bambaro in the Wild Spire Waste. This will complete the Brute Wyvern limited bounty and the general 8 star rank limited bounty, leaving you with one more event quest to do of your choice so long as in the Hoarfrost Reach. The Hoarfrost Reach has some of the easiest event quests there are, so I'd recommend Duffel Duty or Pearl Snatchers. Do this and you'll get everything done today. But that's about it for console, let's move on to talk about the PC version of the game. Now PC has six limited bounties. First is a field research event limited bounty to complete three event quests. They can be at any rank and for doing so you'll get research points, an advanced atmosphere, appreciation tickets and appreciation fireworks. Next is a general elders recess limited bounty to clear two quests in this specific location and it can be at any rank, although you can't get the elders recess at low rank. Anyway, for completing two quests here, you'll get research points, a hard atmosphere, appreciation tickets and appreciation fireworks. Next is an ecology survey to hunt Brute Wyvern. We have to hunt down two Brute Wyvern and they have to be at high or master rank. And for doing so you'll get research points, a gold Wyvarian print that can be exchanged for monster gems at the Elder Melder, some appreciation tickets and more appreciation fireworks. This is also the last limited bounty you'll receive if you haven't upgraded to Iceborne. But if you have, you'll also have an ecology survey to hunt Coral Puke Puke. We have to hunt one of these Bird Wyvern and it has to be at master rank. And for doing so you'll get research points, a heavy atmosphere, gratitude ticket and some snowmen. Next is another ecology survey to hunt Savage Devil Joe. We have to hunt one of these Brute Wyvern at Master Rank. And for doing so, you'll get research points, King Armorsphere, Gratitude Ticket, and some Snowmen. And then finally is the General Limited Bounty to complete all of today's other limited bounties. And for doing so, you'll get research points, a Celestial Wyvarian print that can be exchanged for various monster mantles at the Elder Melder, some Gratitude Ticket, and even more Snowmen. So those are all the limited bounties we have on PC today. Well worth doing as you do get a Celestial Wyvarian print, but it's gonna take a minimum of three event quests. However, the limited bounties do line up with the selection of event quests we have. First of all, I'd recommend taking on Every Hunter's Dream 2. This has players taking on a Coral Puke Puke in the Coral Highlands. This will complete their Coral Puke Puke limited bounty and put a dent in the event quest limited bounty. Afterwards, I recommend taking on a Reason Behind the Hunger. This will complete the Hunt Savage Devil Joe limited bounty and put a dent in the event limited bounty, Elder's Recess limited bounty and Hunt Brute Wyvern limited bounty. Afterwards, it's a case of either taking on a reason behind the hunger again, or if you're wanting something a little bit more easier, I'd recommend Fired Up Bruisers, which has players taking on a Glavinus and Uragon in the Elder's Recess. Do this, 
and it will complete all the remaining limited bounties today. But that's about it for day 17. Don't forget to check back tomorrow for day 18. And until next time, I've been Darkblade, bringing you a quick information video regarding the day 17 limited bounties for the Grand Appreciation Fest in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.